Hello everybody, welcome back to more Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix here on Color Flaherty's channel. We are not even going to speak of what happened last time on this channel, but today we are going to go back to Hollow Bastion, but before we do that, I want to level up my drive forms a bit. So we're going back to Agrabah to go back to the Cave of Wonders like interior so we can level up Valor form and Limit form, because both of those are going to be very valuable. However, we need to actually go back and get the save point first, so... Oh yeah, Icy Key. Nice. I'll basically let you guys know when I get there, because we've already made this trek once before. Alright, we're back here at the save point. I am going to equip Oathkeeper as my main Keyblade, because... Well, we want to remain in the Triforms as long as possible, and I'm going to equip Sweet Memories as my Valor Form Keyblade, because again, when we're leveling up Valor Form, I don't want to kill the Mushroom, I just want to get hits. And since Sweet Memories has the lowest strength stat, that's what we're going to do. Anyhow, I'm going to start by leveling up Limit Form, because we get some good abilities if we do that. Ooh, I got a Sunset Puzzle Piece, though, thanks to Aerial Dodge. As I was saying, when you map magic spells to your customization shortcuts, and then you enter limit form, then they, those magic spell shortcuts get overrided by the limit form of the limit uh, <laughs> shortcuts. However, if you have items equipped to your shortcuts, those do not get overrided in limit form. Hence why I accidentally used an Efer because while the circle is normally the shortcut for Sonic Rave when you're in limit form. I had mapped an item to circle and it didn't override that, so I had so it ended up using no. I almost did the same thing again. Sonic Rave is just the fastest of the limits to use for leveling up. Strike Rave is almost as fast, but not quite. There we go! The limit form is now level 6, so the drive gauge got upgraded so I can stay in it for longer, and I get the lucky, lucky ability. That's what I was looking for. Can't level up limit form again until we get the final drive form. We can level up power form, we can level up wisdom form, oh, we can level up wisdom form twice. We can level up master form three times, so yeah, I'll be doing that. Next up, I'm gonna level up power form some more. There we go. Power form is now level 6, which is the highest it can go for now, and we get another combo plus ability. The combo pluses I'm not, like, a huge fan of, but it's good to have them, and might as well level up my drive forms. Again, you need to get all your drive forms to max level and your summons to max level if you want to get everything in the whole game. Now we're going to level up Wisdom Form a bit, which means we're going to Disney Castle, aka Timeless River, going through Mickey's house and the scene of the fire and maybe Lilliput. And we're just going to go around and burn everything. Make sure we got Fire... uh, Fireaga. Set the shortcut. And at this point, we can now set our ethers back to shortcut as well. Look how powerful our Fireaga is now. Now that it's actually Fireaga. And that we're pretty high level now. You can also make this go faster if you're willing to use some Eevers, but Eevers cost money. Ooh, Sora just got a level up with more strength. That's nice. Alright, got a Wisdom Form level up, so now we have Quick Run level 2 for uh, regular Sora, and Quick Run level 3 for Wisdom Form, and we get another Drive Gauge. Awesome. The best part is, we can still level up Wisdom Form again, and that's kind of the one I really, that's the level up I really want to get. Goofy level up strength! A uh, yuck. There we go. Now we have leveled up wisdom form again, and we get another drive gauge, and we also unlock MP haste as an ability. Every MP haste you can get your hands on is a good ability. Alright, how many? That takes three. Alright, I need three more AP boosts. This is why I stockpiled them all. Even though I had like almost 30 of them at one time, and Donald would be like, we can't equip all our abilities, and I could. Nope, I still save them. For just this kind of situation. <laughs> Good work, Donald and Goofy. Especially Donald, because without you, I could not enter Wisdom Form. Alright. Before we go to Hollow Bastion, we still have to level up some Master Form now. So, we're going back to Land of Dragons to do that. And again, we're going to use Oathkeeper as our main Keyblade. I'm going to equip... Uh, 
Guardian Soul as my Valor Form Keyblade and equip Sweet Memories as my Master Form Keyblade. I'm also going to adjust my shortcuts. I don't want Fireaga. I'm going to put Magnera on. And instead of Ethers, I'm going to put on Fundaga. Because Master Form Fundaga is very, very good. Okay, I was wondering when Anti Form was gonna show up. I haven't had it shown up yet. No worries, I think we have a drive recovery. Or. High drive recovery? Oh, we do have a high drive recovery. Yeah, I'll use that. Let's try this again. Thankfully, once you enter Anti Form, like, your anti points go down. So you won't enter Anti Form again for a little bit. That's very nice. Yeah, look at how much damage Master Form Fundiga does. I guess Master Form Fundiga is like one situation where the um, Photon Debugger Keyboy can come in handy. Now watch this. We're gonna use Magnet plus Fundaga. Alright, Master Form leveled up. So now I get Air Combo Plus as an ability. That's nice. Again, you need you need to level up Valor Form if you want to do get regular combo pluses, and you need to level up Master Form if you want to get air combo pluses. Also, yes, that was a mushroom there. Perhaps we'll challenge that mushroom to a duel later on. Not right now, though. Oh yeah, them dry orbs. Ooh, bulky vendor in this room. There he is. Get over here. Rare capsule. Give me that serenity stone. I gotta hurry up to a save point now. I hope I have enough time to get back to the bamboo camp. Sora. You can do it! Come on, don't run out of drive! Whew! That was close. <laughs> but now, because I got an extra drive gauge from leveling up, I should be able to make that track easier. Alright, another level up for Master Form. And this time we learn Aerial Dodge Level 2 and Aerial Dodge Level 3, respectively, for regular form and Master Form. Alrighty! And again, the reason the enemies are dropping so many drive orbs is because I have the Sweet Memories Keyblade currently equipped. Normally, these Night Walkers would be dropping a lot more money rather than drive orbs. But thanks to Drive Converter, that is not the case. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. And we have now maxed out our Master Forms as far as we can go now. We have eight drive gauges when we're in it, and we just unlocked the second Air Combo Plus ability. Alright, let's let's challenge this mushroom to a duel. We gotta hit the guys before, without getting hit ourselves, or without getting caught. Oh well, we failed. We didn't even get a consolation prize. That's okay. I wonder, can we get these yet? Probably not. We'll come back for the puzzle pieces later. In the meantime, we now have all of our drive gauges and summons to max level, at least as far as we can go now. So let's land in Hollow Bastion and actually start this final world. Wait a sec. I thought everything was supposed to be under control here. That looks different. Must be Organization 13 again. We better go see Leon. So now the town self-defense system is working against us. So instead of hitting the enemies, it's gonna hit us. Something to watch out for. Also, new abilities, yeah, aerial dodge level two. We got the two air combo pluses. I'm not going to equip those, but I might equip them in the future. Aerial dodge level three, blah, 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 yak, 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 yak. Uh, customize, yes, I'm going to put 
efers back on the menu. And that looks good, yeah. <laughs> hey, Cloud. I'm not interested in what becomes of this world. Besides, you and the other should be enough to handle things. Okay, thanks, Emo. Huey Dewey and Louie's accessory shop. I think we have one of everything at this point. Yes, we do. How about the armor shop? Uh, let's see. We do not have a fire up angle. Let's buy one of those. We do not have a Fundara trinket. Let's buy one of those. Okay. The weapon shop. We sh Yeah, we have it. One of everything. Okay. Just checking. Hey, Scrooge! Bless me bagpipes! I did it! I recreated sea salt ice cream. Mmm, can we try some? Of course. Oh boy, this is good! I want to try sea salt ice cream myself. So salty, but sweet. Aye, it's unique. When I was a lad, all the kids were crazy for it. Good job, Scrooge. Synthesis shop. Boy, I have a lot of synthesis materials to hand over. Dark stones can now be purchased at the shops for completing the collection. Because I handed over so many of them. Still can't make anything for recipes, still can't make the mithril shard. I can make another high drive recovery, but I'm going to see... Nope. Oh, new things to buy. Yeah, dark, sh dark stones. Huey Dewey and Louie's item shop. I'll oh, buy some more ethers. At the very least, I'll use them for the end game. That's not normal. Defeat the Heartless. We've got strafers outside of the space paranoids. And devastators! Oh, I forgot to change my keyblades. That's okay, we still kick butt. Come on in! Wait just a second, what happened to this place? Didn't that Heartless look like the ones from Tron's world? Come on, just get inside! Hurry up, Sid! <laughs> Give me a second. Confounded hurry! Why, you... What's going on? Talk about your good timing. The MCP is wreaking havoc inside the computer. Not again! According to Leon, anyway. He went on over to Ansem's study to find out what all the ruckus was about. MCP is using the data in that computer to crank out Heartless. Artificial Heartless? The MCP's been messing around with the town's control system, too. Sure doesn't know when to quit, does it? <laughs> That's a computer program for you. How's Tron doing? 
We can't reach him. We figure he must have been forced onto the game grid. And it doesn't sound like a particularly fun game either. Ah! We'll go check on Tron. Thanks, kid. We're putting together an MCP eradication program. I got a hunch it's almost finished, too. Well, I hope your hunch is right for once. Shut up, Merlin. <laughs> Listen, we're gonna need Tron's help to when that eradicator is completed. Don't sweat it. We'll make sure to tell Tron. Remember, boys, we're counting on you. Roger. Thanks, Merlin. Yeah. Darn, I forgot to change my keyboard again. <laughs> An energy crystal has been found. Alright. Gonna put back on Decisive Pumpkin as my main Keyblade and Hero's Crest for Master Form Keyblade. Ooh, a Lucid Gem. And an Energy Crystal. We can now jump and dash really far. It's wonderful. One nice thing I didn't mention, uh, for the combo pluses and air combo pluses, those are going to make the Decisive Pumpkin Keyblade and the Hero's Crest Keyblade really great, because it'll make the ground combo and air combo finishers even more powerful, again, depending on how many hits are in your combos. So if you want to deal, like, an absolutely insane damage with the Decisive Pumpkin ground combo finishers, equip the combo pluses. Ooh, I get air combo boost as an ability. Oh, that's going to make Hero's Crest even more insanely powerful. Need four more AP boosts. <laughs> I'm running low on AP boosts. Well, you better believe I'm equipping that. So now I basically have the Hero's Crest ability with Decisive Pumpkin, as well as the Decisive Pumpkin ability. And if I use Hero's Crest as a Keyblade, its, ground, its air combo finishers will be even more massively powerful. Sunset Puzzle Piece. Yeah! Magnum Lookers, eh? Give me them Lucid Gems. Nah, I can't reach that just yet. It's over. Crimson Jazz, get out of here. Ooh, a Mega Ether. Stop dying all the time. The moon recipe? Oh, I missed a recipe in here? Oh, wow. I feel like a this. I'm getting a lot of bright crystals. Man, that, that extra lucky lucky I got from all in up limit form is already really helping. Off to the postern. A new episode was added in... Yes, I'm aware there's a new episode added in Hollow Bastion. But before I do that... <laughs> I want to go to the Moogle shop and hand over that recipe. Yeah. 
Oh, Sora, what are you doing back in my castle? I'm just here to use the Moogle Shop. Obtain Serenity Crystal for completing the collection, hand it over all recipes in stock. Moon am or Moon uh, Amulet, yeah. Oh, we need more Twilight Materials, doggone it. That's all you wanted in my castle? Yeah, Beast, thanks, bye. <laughs> I was in the middle of a great date with Belle, and you interrupted it. Sorry. Anyhow, back to the poster. Frontier Puzzle PC, ha. Um, ouch. This is not a fun combo. Take that. I hate how the Crimson Jazz's fire spells stay around even after it's dead. Yeah, Crimson Jazzes and Devastators at the same time are very difficult. But we did it, and Donald got a level up even though he's dead. Good job, Donald. Gorsh, it's only us. You can talk to Tron if this room gets t or you can't talk to Tron if this room gets taken over. Did you check in with Sid? Uh huh. And the Eradicator. It's almost done. Great. Say, Leon, why don't you go work with Sid? I have this place under control. Are you sure? All by yourself? <laughs> She's like, excuse me? Uh, sorry, it's all yours. She doesn't have a weapon, though. How's Tron? We still can't get in touch with him. Maybe you guys should give it a shot. No, we'll go talk to him in person. Then I have a favor to ask. When you find Tron, can you tell him to come to the IO Tower? That's where we'll upload the MCP eradication program. The IO Tower! Got it! Thanks, and watch your backs. And we get the Sleeping Lion Keyblade. Well balanced with strength and magic, increasing maximum ground-based combos by one. It's a cool looking Keyblade. Not quite as good as the Lionheart Keyblade from Kingdom Hearts 1, though. But we'll, I'll be putting that on my Valorform Keyblade. It's Either quite useful soon, for that. Tron. Power form Keyblade, we're going to assign Sleeping Lion. It has 5 strength and 3 magic power, and gives combo plus. That combined with our Decisive Pumpkin giving us combo boost, that'll make Valor form ground combos ridiculously powerful. So that's going to be nice. Hey, Aerith, help Tron until the program's done. Don't worry, I'll handle things here. You go, girl. Sunset puzzle piece. Anything else over here? Nope. Alright. Well, we'll have to go help out Tron next time on Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Colorful Artie. Look forward to that next time. And until we meet again, have a great day, and God bless.